Hello, I am Mohammed Naji Abu. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, in this video, we will be discussing how can we download more than one files or like entire files in a S3 bucket. Okay, that is what we are going to discuss in this video. So, you can see that uh, the download folder is empty now. Okay, so let me go and create one file. Okay. S3 download all.py. Okay, so this is similar to like S3 uh, upload and the S3 download. So we can use the most of the code, we can use it here. Okay, so first we can import Boto3. I hope now this is very familiar for you guys. Then I can import OS. Now I can import constants okay from constants i can import all the constants it has my aws key and that um, id and the access key okay now we can define our client so here we have boto3 dot client i'm going to mention as s3 okay now here we can mention aws access key id which is AWS access key, AWS access key ID. Okay. Now we can mention AWS secret access key. Okay. Can mention secret access key. Okay. So this is my client. Now we can mention S3 bucket name, bucket name, the same bucket we can use that is S3 upload demo 1. Okay. Now the next step is we can try to print all the files in this bucket. Okay. For that we will get a meta of this list. There is a method called a list object where we can mention bucket as bucket name okay so so we can try to print this okay list files we can see what's the result here so to execute this file we can write python s3 download all.py all so let me run this so this will return a response data here if we observe we can see that it has a meta information of one file that is my test.cv that we will we can see it here now here we can see the insurance.cv which is a list okay list of json and it is coming under a key called content okay so what i can do i can extract the content key only we don't need the rest of the things okay now let me run this okay now we are getting this list okay which has a it has a two file two metadata inf information one is for the insurance.csv and second one for the mytest.csv okay now what we can do we can loop through this particular file then we can upload it i mean we can download it by one by one so if you go to our s3 download.py which we have done earlier we will be using this particular method to download the file okay so let me copy it come here i can comment this thing okay. now we can print for key in files okay okay now we need to figure out what's happening here so let me adjust this little bit in a second okay so what is actually happening here 
So here we have to mention the bucket name. So bucket name is already there. Now we need to mention the key. Okay. So the key should be the file name. Okay. So if we if we look on this here, the file name that is mentioned in the S3 bucket is coming. As a, this is actually a key value pair, right? So which is coming under a key called key. Okay. So what we need to do, we can mention here. This is the key, right? We can mention key as key. So this will give us the file name. Okay. Now we need to create a download file path. Okay. So I am again I am going I am using our old code. So here let me copy this. Let me copy this entire thing. Okay. I can paste it here. So, so here we have the root path that is the OS dot get working directory. This is the root path. Now we need to join this with our download file. I mean downloads folder. This folder. Then we need to mention the file name. So here the file name is we can use the same file name key. This key we can use the file name. So this is our download file path. So this will extract, this will loop through each list here. Okay, it's this each JSON file here, then it will figure out the insurance, the key value that is insurance.csv, then it will create the full download path and it will download it. Okay. So now what we can do, we can try to execute this Python. No, download s3 download underscore all dot py okay so this is done here yes so we are able to see or we are able to download these two csv files from our s3 bucket okay so that is all about in this video so I will upload this file to all this code to my JIT repository and I will definitely I will share it. So please do like and subscribe. Have a nice day. Bye bye.